show you how to install the lower Velcro strip for the thermal pack on older campers. We used to call it the Arctic pack. You can order it. If you order your camper new with the thermal pack option, the Velcro strip is already at the top on all of the campers since 2002 or newer. Pop-up fabric. And then the lower Velcro, we don't install unless the customer orders the thermal pack. Easy to put in later, so if they ship you a thermal pack, you order it a year, two years down the road, and you want to put it in, we send you the Velcro strip, the thermal pack, and it Velcros at the top and the bottom. But this strip we've already put in after the fact, kind of an aftermarket install, and we'll show you on the other side how we did that. I usually start by marking the screws where the screw holes are, and then we will take all of the screws out of the wall. And what that's going to allow us to do is take the Velcro, and this is just like 3M Velcro, sticky back Velcro, and we'll stick it to the wall all the way down the side, front to back, for the, the lower strip. So when you put your thermal pack in here, you can attach the, the Velcro at the bottom and the top for a good air barrier. So in the back corner, we'll any of these you can start. I'll just take a little blue pen, black pen, pencil. I mark these and what that's going to do, I'll show you when I'm putting them back in. Once I lay the Velcro strip onto the wall and the screws are removed, I no longer know where that hole is. So just putting a little tiny mark and you can't really see this other than right when you're installing it. So it's not something you'll notice later. Just makes it easier to put that screw right back into the same hole. And if you missed the hole, it's probably not going to be the end of the world. It'll just drive a new hole through the wall and into the frame, but I've always found it a lot easier to put it back into the same, same hole quicker and easier. So I'll get those last two in a minute. From there, I usually speed things up by grabbing a drill with a, just a Phillips on there. And take these out. It goes pretty quick. Start putting this strip up now. We'll start in the back corner usually, just so it lines up flush. I'll take that one last screw out of there. Take the Velcro sticky back off. Just start it right in the corner. I'll peel this back as I go. I usually try and keep it flush with this plastic piece up here. Keep it straight so it looks nice. It's level, lined up. Run my hand across it. If you didn't line it up perfectly, you could probably peel it back and just start over. But it seems pretty easy to, to keep it lined up. And then from there, I'll keep going down here, but we take the screws that we took out here, and there's little lines here that I can see from my pen, and I'll use that to put the screws back in. What that does is you have sticky Velcro all the way that's attached to the wall and the screws are just holding it in. So in the summertime when things are hot and the glue is kind of sticky back there, if you attempted to peel the thermal pack off in the summertime when this is hot, the adhesive factor is not as good. Sometimes it'll pull off the wall. So by putting the screws back in there, keeps that strip on there permanently.
You can do that with a screwdriver. That one, I missed the hole just by hair, but it just pushes right through anyway. These screws are pretty sharp, so it'll make a new hole if you need it to. Most of the time it'll go right into the same hole. But these screws are just holding that Velcro in place long term. That one went right back in the same hole. Mark right there. You can do this with a hand screwdriver as well. I'm kind of grinding these a little bit with this tool, but I'm not worried about it because we're not taking this out again. The screws will come in and out later. So you can be a little bit more delicate, but once they're in there, this strip pretty much lives on there for the rest of the camper. And then we'll just finish that. We'll put the rest of the screws in. I'll go ahead and finish it up and then we'll cut back and I'll show you the final product. So we just finished this up. We showed you earlier removing all the screws off the wall, starting in one corner or the other, laying that Velcro strip all the way along the leading edge, the top edge of that wall. Put the rest of the screws back in and the little excess bit on the end, we just cut it off to match. But now that lower strip is installed on both sides for this particular camper and it's ready for the thermal pack. If you check out our YouTube channel, we have a separate video specifically on the thermal pack, how to put it in the camper. Hope that helps.